There is absolutely nothing wrong with rewriting it horizontally. However, I want you guys to understand something. If I have the fraction 1 fourth, and I multiply that by 2 over 2, I get 2 over 8. And that is equivalent to 1 fourth, correct? That measurement is exactly the same, correct? So as long as I have a fraction, as long as I multiply a fraction by the same number on the top and the bottom, I just produce an equivalent fraction, correct? Yes? OK. Now, um, you could do it like we did last problem, but the only issue is we have an expression up here separated by addition. So it could get a little bit messy if we did what we did um, in the last example. So my answer to you is to get rid of your fraction. So let's go ahead and go and take course of 1 fourth. To get rid of this fraction 1 fourth, to get rid of it, what we could basically do, or if we wanted to get rid of it, let's say we have 1 fourth x equals 2. Right? To get rid of the fraction, as long as we multiply by 4 on both sides, again, you're not changing the equation, are you? As long as you do one thing to one side and you do the same thing to the other side, you're not changing the equation, are you? Right? So that's what we call equivalent equations. So equivalent equations and equivalent fractions are very helpful. x is equal to 8. So if you have a fraction, if you multiply by 4, um, that will get rid of the fraction. If you multiply by its reciprocal, that gets rid of the fraction. Now, what we're going to want to do here is get rid of a fraction of y in the denominator and x in the denominator. But I just can't multiply this by y and this by x and get rid of it. I have, whatever I multiply in the numerator, I have to multiply in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is multiply by the LCM again. And the LCM in this case is xy. So when I multiply the top and the bottom by xy, again, am I changing the fraction by multiplying by the same term in the numerator denominator? No, but watch what happens. You have to apply distributive property here. So what's xy times 2 over x? The x's divide out, right? What's xy times 6? Well, actually, let me, I don't want to confuse you. Let's do it. Let's actually distribute this. So by doing distributive property, I get 2xy divided by x plus 6xy divided by 1 all over xy divided by y. You guys see how I did distributive property there? Does everybody see that? Kind of? Yes, no? Now we can apply the division property. The y's divide, or the x's divide out. Nothing divides out there and the y's divide out. So therefore, I'm now left with 2y plus 6yx all over x, which they could write in an equivalent form. You could, you could distribute the x to both of those terms. So you could see the answer like this, or you could see the answer like that. But either way, those are both acceptable answers. But does everybody see what I did? So if you have a complex fraction, another thing to do is get rid of the fraction. And I will further emphasize this point. In my one example, I'm going to do 